Hello everyone and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2's Cortex Strikes Back on the PlayStation 1. I'm the Shoop Shoop and today we're going to take care of Barret and Crash Crush. Two very annoying levels actually and probably some of the hardest levels are... Well, for this point in the game, they are the hardest levels. But first things first, we want to bounce on this guy a little bit a couple of times. Why? Because Crash Bandicoot is not a fan of Peter and this is his way to give... to show him what's what. Now in reality, if you do that multiple times, you will get a lot of lives. Now you can repeat this every time you reload the save file, but during each time you do have a save loaded, you will not be able to repeat that more than once. Anyway, let's head into Barret, where we're gonna... Well, if you guys remember the Warthog levels from the original Crash Bandicoot game, this... This is pretty much that, except on a bear, and very ice-based, which means you got ice physics and... A lot of mayhem is gonna occur, so let's just grab onto the bear here. Now, D-pad left and right will move, X button jumps as always. And if you press the square, no, actually not the square. If you press the circle button, you can do a boost. And I would not advise doing the boost, especially during this first one. It is mandatory to use later on, but for the most part, you're gonna want to avoid it for now. And I failed. <laughs> Getting the gem in these levels in particular is really, really frustrating, so you really need to... Stay on your toes and be sure to clip each of the boxes as close as possible while being able to maneuver left and right as far as possible. So, I I would argue I would argue in saying it's actually harder to get the gem in this in these levels as opposed to the gem in the original Crash Bandicoot levels because I don't know I just there's no ice to deal with. Oh for God's sake I missed again. And there we are. Okay, thank God for the. Oh, for Jesus! <laughs> and we're back, and we're dead. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, it's ironic that I died trying to get hold of this extra life box. I did it again. I hate the. F I hate ice. Ice is my nemesis. It is this. Just. I despise ice levels in most games, and this. This is really no exception. But anyway, we move on. We're pretty much halfway through the level right now, actually. It's very short, and we have orcas attacking us. Why orcas? Shouldn't they be out chasing, like, blue hedgehogs and sunny beaches or something? Well, it did say a lie to me about what they do. Hmm. Either way, just watch out for all the TNT crates and nitro crates. If you touch any TNT or nitro crate, you will die. So, it's just a pre-warning. Don't touch them. Not good. They will... They're... They're pretty explosive, and not the good kind of explosive. Anyway, just keep moving onwards, just... You really do need to be quick on your toes over this, because obviously you need to tap the X button as quick as possible and make short hops every now and then. And as soon as the pixel that you hit a box, sometimes you may want to move back to the other side, the exact pixel, so... It's very, very tricky to get full blown control, but anyway... Hit that, there's all the crates in this level complete, so there's our gem. Thank God for that. We managed to bear our way through the level, and uh, that wasn't too unbearable, was it? I'm making all these bear puns, but trust me, the, le the game itself does them later on as well, so don't cringe, please. But anyway, with that, that's that done, so it's just a uh, great lob up all our fantastic duels there. You can do the dance at the end of the absolute crash, and it's going to crash crush the second, and... Last of the rolling boulder levels. Now, there are chasing levels still that involve the same mechanics, but this is the last one that actually have the boulder on it as a whole. It's got a nice sunset sort of graphics to it. I, I don't know, I think it's really nice and relaxing sort of atmosphere, which is good because, oh my god, boulder. Now, same, the same real... It basically is the same rules as last time. Run from the boulder. Usually you don't have to worry too much about collecting crates unless... with a, with a couple of exceptions, mainly at the very end where the game decides to be a troll to you. You just need to really just watch yourself. Anyway, fortunately... Fortunately, the boulder, boulder can't, you know, it can't go across that much wood. Which is weird, if you think about it. I mean, if it can cross across the rest of it, why not the very last bit? No matter. Anyway, what's this? A, a segue? That's right, this, this is probably... I'm not sure if this is the only one to do this, but... This boulder level has an alternate, not an alternate route, a, a second route. A slid, you fool. A slid. Ugh. It's got an alternate pathway that you need to go through. Now, believe it or not, these alternate pathways 
there's only one of them and it's not really that bad, big a deal because you just go around and very much it's like five seconds okay maybe not five seconds but it lasts like 30 seconds we just need to slide under these gates and time it time your jumps because that's the only way to get through unfortunately though you will not be able to get back through that path no matter how much you try so you might be wondering how the heck do you get back don't worry, at the very end of that pathway, there's a little teleporter. Well, not teleporter. It's like a lift that sends you backwards, so you're not going to have to worry too much about, you know, not being able to get through. Ah, right, let's do this again. Third time's a charm. There we go. That's how it's done, son. So, like I said, lift sends you back. Which means it's time to get chased by more boulders. Oh, boulder dash. I don't like... I, seriously, I don't like... I don't like the I don't like the concept of getting chased by boulders. These levels used to freak me out when I was younger. Anyway, just keep moving. Now they added electric gates. You have to slide out throughout, slide under throughout the. Oh, I survived. How did I survive? I don't know. But now they added these gates, so you have to slide under throughout the entire course. So you need to keep an eye out every time you hear an electric gate. Just um, be ready to slide. And yes, that's right. Hear an electric gate. You need to. It's probably it's easier if you hear them out there than just straight up look for them because obviously. You can't really see far ahead of you because the way the camera's positioned in this. Oh, come on, that's just an unfair game. Now, I'm not sure if it's this section by here or the... I think it's the next section where we need to really gain a lot. And I mean a lot of distance to actually get what's coming up. So, I think it's this section by here. No, it's the next section. Anyway, with that, let's just go into the bonus room quickly. Now the next section has got a lot of boost pads and I don't know if I explained the boost pads yet. You basically run over the boost pad to get a boost speed. Woo. It's magical, isn't it? Basically, once you reach the the last segment of this course, you got you gotta grab every boost pad and dodge every single obstacle because without fail, because there's a couple of crates that you need to use body slams to get and will be avoided by the giant boulder. So you will need You will basically need to you need to be Sonic the Hedgehog in Bandicoot form in order to get it. Also, that's crystal is surprisingly easy to miss. Don't ask how, but I always seem to miss it whenever I play through this game, usually. Because I usually just sort of walk past it and go, Oh, that's nice. Oh, wait, I'm meant to get that. And then I activate the boulder section and run into the boulder. Which is not a good thing to happen. So yeah, like I said, by here, this section by here, grab every boost panel you see. Uh, I think this is enough distance for what I need, so I should be fine. Yes. Now, uh, 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 you need to go both sides, and I made it. Thank God for that. That you will not believe how difficult that is again your first time. It's just, I can't believe I did it my first time, because during the past couple of recording sessions have been pretty abysmal, to say the least. But anyway, with that, that is the end of this part, folks. So next time, when we return to Crash Bandicoot 2, we'll take care of the eel deal, because that is what Crash is, of course. And uh, we'll eely get on to the next boss of the stage. Get it, eely? Because the next level is a, a sewer level with eels? Oh, yes. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, appreciate it. Like, comment, the video. I'll catch you all next time. Bye!